that brings me to one of the most important ones I think is equipment. And we could talk about this probably all day. <clears throat> yeah. But the equipment is it's important, but it's not so important that you should take out a second mortgage on your house to buy, you know. Yeah. You can get a a good rig that's going to get you sounding good. Like you're not going to sound like you're going to record a, a platinum album, you know, but you're going to sound pretty good. And um, like 150 bucks, I would say, is is a really solid rig. You know, my setup, which <laughs> we were talking about it, <clears throat> we were talking about it the other day on how I think that Mad sounds better than me, but Mad was like. I always thought you sounded better than me. <laughs> so it's it's really interesting. But like our setups are completely different. You're recording on the Blue Yeti, right? Yeah. And so the Blue Yeti, is, if you don't know, is a USB all-in-one mic. You just plug it in the computer and it's ready. It's got a, a preamp in the mic. It's ready to go. But what's cool about the Blue Yeti is you can put it on different modes. Like it'll record just out of one side or it'll record out of both sides. So you can record like an interview with the person sitting across the table from you and it will record out of both sides of the mic, which my mic doesn't do that. But Matt is locked in. Like he can't upgrade that mic. He'll have to buy a new mic, you know? Yeah. My setup is a little bit different in that I have a preamp audio interface and I have the uh, Behringer UMC 202 HD. <laughs> and uh, it's... Like I said, an audio interface with my headphones plugged into it. I've got um, gain knobs. I've got kind of all these different fucking buttons that I don't, hardly don't even know what they do. <laughs> um, but the reason I bought... There's a lower model that only has one XLR input, which would be for my microphone. And I have, I have two XLR inputs so that I can plug a second mic in if I have a guest in person, which we've only had once. And we used a second mic, and it, it worked fine which that was really cool. So I have the option of having a, plugging a second microphone into this audio interface. And also the microphone I have is pretty cheap. It's, it's really cheap actually. Cause I, I spent my money on the audio interface, which was like 80 bucks ish. And I decided to spend my money on the audio interface instead of the microphone. Because if you put a great mic into a shitty audio interface, the great mic is going to be hindered by the audio interface. So I bought like a decent audio interface. It's nothing to write home about, but it's a solid one that I can always upgrade mics and it will sound really good when I upgrade mics, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, I, that was a little bit nerdy and a little bit long-winded, but just figure out if you want to plug and play the way that Matt is doing. His voice sounds great. Or figure out if you want to have something that you can upgrade more and have a little bit more versatility with the audio interface the way that I'm doing. I don't really think there's a right or wrong answer. It's just yeah. what you want to do. The know? most important thing I would say is uh, just like kind of what you said. Don't go out and like max your credit card out and buy like like the like the equipment that YouTubers are using. You know what I mean? Because of course they're gonna recommend what they can afford, and obviously they can afford it a lot better. Um, but just like go on Craigslist, go on Facebook Marketplace, go on eBay, look for like a, a mic. You know what I mean? Um, and it, it won't be too expensive. Just plug it into your computer and just try it out. Because uh, let's say you do buy an expensive microphone and you try it out and you don't like it, you know what I mean? Then you're like you're stuck with the microphone. So just make sure you try it out first, and if you like it, then go ahead and buy a better mic. But uh, that, that that's the most important thing I think. Just make sure you don't overspend, and then end up not liking podcasting. I guess it would make the make the best ways to sum it all up. Yeah. And, and one of the best ways to do that is, I mean, use Amazon reviews, use YouTube, type in like best microphones under a hundred dollars or best podcast setup under $150. And you will see dozens of people that have started podcasts and they will show you their setup, you yeah. know? And that's kind of what I did. And I kind of made, I was like, Oh, I like that, but I don't like that. And I made my own setup that was unique to me but i kind of i pieced it together out of everybody's videos you know mm -hmm. so yeah watch your just watch reviews um set a budget for yourself stick to your budget and it, i don't really th i think about 50 dollars is the minimum because you can get like a, a blue snowflake or i think what it's called yeah um that's probably the cheapest i would ever go is 50 dollars and if you're on a budget i don't think you need any more than 150 bucks that's like i think that's like the most important point just like 
don't just because like I, I've known kids who like growing up they saw YouTubers, so like they pull out like, a credit card and like bought like the best camera and like the best lighting. You know what I mean? Yeah, and they're like, um, why don't I have a hundred thousand subs overnight? Yeah, you know, it's like you, you, I mean, you also hate to see someone like just throw money away like that. Oh yeah, and then I also bought like a, I bought like um, I guess like a like an arm for like my table. Yeah, and like I have a, that a pop too. filter for like fifteen bucks on Amazon, like really yeah. easy. Mm-hmm. Um, that's like another thing I, I recommend. I think it really changes like the audio, you know, really like makes it a lot more clear, and it also just like makes my desk look a lot cooler. I think. It makes your desk cleaner. Your workflow's better. You don't have. You can move the mic around easier, mm-hmm. so that you're not your neck. You're like cricking your neck or something like that. Um, and also, the arm reduces shock to the microphone, so that like yeah. if your if your phone goes off and it's sitting on the desk, you wouldn't hear it in the mic. It wouldn't rattle the mic as much as if the mic were just sitting on the desk. You know, mm-hmm. it's not perfect, but it's it's better. You know. Yeah, it, it's definitely like an upgrade. It's a it's like a like a minor upgrade, um, and it's cheap. Yeah, I mean, like you, you just go on Amazon or eBay, and they they're just like under twenty dollars to get like a, like a decent one. I mean, you can of course go more expensive. Yeah, you can better. buy like a carbon fiber, crazy two hundred dollar one, which is like <laughs> margin like slightly better. You know? Yeah, um, but yeah, I mean, like, that's what I'm using right now with like you said, like a Blue Yeti mic, um, and I mean this this is what the quality sounds like, so that's pretty good. Um, and you said you're set up, but uh, yeah, I mean, I, that's, that's like one of the, that's gonna be one of the biggest decisions when you start a podcast is like one thing that me and Spike wanted to do was, um, like in a couple months down the road, we can like record in the same room. The piece of equipment that I saw that I really want that is as much money as I would ever, ever, ever spend. And it's like everything you need to podcast in one thing is it's called the roadcaster. Have you seen it? No, I sent it to you. Is, is it made by Rode, like the Rode? Yes, oh, that's awesome. It's it's called the Rodecaster, and it, if you look it up, it's ridiculous. It's really cool. It's got four inputs. It's got a Bluetooth function where you can put a phone to it, so you can have like a call in line. You can be like, call now, and you call. They call your phone, which is Bluetooth into the Rodecaster, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, it's got like the pads on it where you can program sounds, and you can like boing or whatever the fucking sound you want it to be, you know. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. it's the whole nine for podcasting. And you, it records right onto an SD card, so Dude, you can. That's, that's amazing. You take, <laughs> yeah, you can take out the SD card and you can put it in your computer or wherever. You know. How much was and that? Do you remember? It was like seven hundred bucks. It wasn't ridiculous, you know. Yeah. And then uh, I'm really excited for the Rode Pod mic. It's this new podcasting mic that Rode is putting out, and it's only a hundred bucks. Mm-hmm. And it's supposed to be not quite as good as the Procaster, but like it's pretty close. I can't even hardly hear the difference between like a hundred and fifty dollar mic and a thousand dollar mic. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You probably have to have thousand dollar headphones to hear the difference. Yeah. Um, what I was gonna say was like I- I'm like a Razer fanboy. So like I like the like the you know, like like the keyboard, the mouse, the mouse pad. Mm-hmm. Um and like I was looking at like because the, they have a microphone too, and like I was looking at the reviews and they were like, Oh, like if you already have a Yeti, don't bother. You know what I mean? Like this is like the Yeti's already better than that one. Right. So, like, like a lot of the mics that look cooler or, or like that you like, you might want to look at the reviews compared to like a cheaper microphone.